Gibulisk is a manufacturing company located in Clifton Springs, New York. Uh, we pr presently have about 625 employees and we make solenoids and valves and uh, position uh, sensing devices. Uh, Drew started working at LISC when he was in his teens and when they were making fly sprayers and he and his mother used to make sales calls. Uh, when he got out of the service, one of his uh, service mates sent him a, a set of drawings and said uh, it was for a solenoid and said, can you make me a solenoid for uh, an application? And Drew being Drew said that, uh, of course I can, you know, because Drew's uh, motto was uh, get the order and then figure out how to make it. Drew did not like yes people, people who told him what they thought he wanted to hear. He wanted to hear all of the pros and cons of an issue. He wanted to get well-reasoned advice, even if he didn't agree with it. And then he made the decisions. I don't think there was any machine that Drew didn't know how to operate himself. And whenever there was a technical problem, uh, he would help the employees solve those problems because he had the unique background and skill to uh, do many things. And it was interesting. He, he had a background of engineering and experience in engineering, but he also had a, a very acute understanding of financial conditions and, and the need to be very accurate and precise uh, and handle financial numbers in an accurate way. In 1988, uh, I joined the accounting firm Deloitte & Touche and uh, had a healthcare background, so uh, my first assignment was Clifton Springs Hospital. And as I uh, got down there to meet the client, I very quickly learned that uh, Clifton Springs was one of several businesses in town, the anchor of which was GW Lisk. Drew was the CEO of GW Lisk. He was the chair of the board of the hospital. And all of a sudden I looked around and th these were all our clients. So I found out that Drew really had a lot of things to do with what happened in that entire community. One of the aspects that I was personally able to observe over the years was the way he conducted himself in, in the business environment, in the business world. Uh, it com comes to mind things like ethics, integrity. Um, Drew always was a proponent of doing things right the first time. We never had an issue, we never had a question from our vantage point about uh, was the company on the right course. Drew insisted that uh, we follow the rules, we stay inside the guidelines. I think it was a hallmark for him. He was probably one of the areas greatest benefactors to his community and to the greater Rochester community. In terms of what he did for the hospital, I would often ask him, Drew, it's astounding, your commitment of both time and financial resources to the hospital. And he would tell me, I have to do those things. This is where I live. This is where the hundreds of people who have made the List Company a great company live. We have to have a hospital here, and it has to be as great as it possibly can be. And there were many times in the years that I worked with him at the hospital that the, the very existence of the hospital was in jeopardy. It was a small hospital in a rural community, and not many of those places were surviving. But through Drew's tenacity, and his insistence and his generosity, that hospital continues to exist. He did it all not for recognition or not for awards. Uh, in fact, if he was still alive, this wouldn't be happening today because uh, he would not allow uh, you know, himself to be recognized in that way because he did things not for that reason, but because he could and to give back. His generosity really wasn't just limited to Clifton. Uh, in particular, I, he and I knew each other quite well from the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra. He was a longtime patron and a very generous benefactor, mostly without being asked. So what I remember about Drew the most was that uh, uh, philanthropy, charity, whatever you want to call it, was a natural act for him. He did not want to be recognized for it. In fact, I think he preferred not to be recognized for it. He did it selflessly from his heart and he believed it was his obligation to do that. He's, he's more than deserving to be in this, in this very elite group of people.